Now, this is a special fishing reel. I've really been wanting to get my hands on one of these. Nice. First up, we need to pick a rod. Couple options here. There it is, what do you guys think? Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Justin Royal here back with another fishing reel unboxing. Today, we're gonna be unboxing a new reel, one that I have zero experience with, never seen one before, but it's one that I've had my eye on for a little bit, and I'm really looking forward to cracking off into this box, getting my hands and my eyes on this bad boy for the first time right here on camera with you guys. So let's go ahead and get off into it. Here's a box right here. Now, this is a special fishing reel because this fishing reel was actually gifted to me by a friend of the channel. His name is Jeremy, Heater Army member, longtime supporter, like ride or die dude, has always been a massive supporter of the channel and what we do over here. And I can't thank Jeremy enough for sending us a fishing reel. I tried to pay him back, reimburse him for the cost of the reel, but he wasn't having it. So shout outs to you, Jeremy. Thank you, I know you're watching. I appreciate it, brother. So this video goes out to Jeremy and anyone else who likes fishing reels, bait casters, Shimano's maybe, we're gonna take a look right here. Like I said, this is one that I don't currently own, have zero experience with this reel, but it is a specific style of reel and a spool size that I've really been enjoying using lately. I'm not sure what I'm going to name this video or what the thumbnail is going to show. So this may or may not have already been spoiled by either of those, but we're gonna go ahead and crack off into the box and see what Jeremy sent us to use here on the channel. So a little bit of a backstory as to why he sent the fishing reel. I was actually shopping around for one of these and looking on, uh, I, think tackle, I think I was shopping on Tackle Warehouse and they were actually sold out. And I actually mentioned in one of the heaters only live streams or maybe a live premiere, I can't remember, that I was looking for the specific reel and couldn't find it where I was shopping around. And Jeremy just took it upon himself to buy the sucker and send it to me. So super cool, man. I don't even know what to say. That's really awesome, man. And I'm stoked to be able to get my hands on this, even though I couldn't find it where I was shopping at the time. Jeremy said that he had one at his local tackle shop and he actually went out, scooped it up and sent it to me. And we're going to go ahead, find out what it is right now. Enough yakking, tearing into the box. Oh, check that out. It's actually inside of a six cents box, inside of the box, a box inside of the box, inside of the box. It has his address on it, so I'm gonna be careful not to show that. Looks like there's a couple bonus items in here. Set this down, see what that is. And I swear I heard a guitar pick hit the ground. I know that sound. Yeah, check that out. I can't, heavy metal logos are so tough to read, but it's a really nice guitar pick. I would actually, I would actually play with this. Nice, dude. A little bonus item. All right. Here's what you guys are all here for. The reel inside of a six cents box. It's already open back here. I can see what it is. And I'm about to show you guys right now. You ready? If you think you know what reel it is, go ahead and drop it down in the comments right now. Pause the video. Don't cheat. Here we go. Boom. Shimano SLX 70 HG. MGL. Stoked on this. Magnum Light, the SLX 70. I've really been wanting to get my hands on one of these lately to try it out. All of my SLX reels are DC with DC braking technology. And to be honest with you guys, I've never really had much of a desire to go back and try the non DC SLX. But when I saw the SLX MGL 70, I was like, okay, it's starting to catch my eye. The Magnum Light spool technology is really nice i own several corrado 70 mgls and i absolutely love them i love a 70 size spool so when i saw the slx 70 mgl drop i was like okay i want one of those and then i couldn't find it but here we are we've got our hands on one now i'm gonna go ahead and pull this bad boy out of the wrapper let's take a look at this warlock i'm gonna show you guys first there it is there it is, guys. I love the color on it. I love the, the just the awesome blue that they incorporate into the SLX reels. They look really nice. She's smooth, buttery smooth. Oh yeah, nice. Very nice. Roll that spool tension off. Got the brakes on one. Buttery smooth. It's a 7.2 to 1 gear ratio. This is the HG. 
pretty solid looking reel. What do you guys think? The SLX 70 from Shimano. Now you guys know when I do these unboxings, I don't really get off into the technical aspects of every single reel, but I do have a couple things pulled up on my phone that I'll mention really quick about the SLX 70 MGL. So really quick without going into too much detail, here's what Shimano has to say about this bad boy. Ultra compact design, 70 size reel. I love the size 70 spools because honestly, I don't do too much like really deep water fishing. Most of my stuff is power fishing, moving baits, reaction bite, and the 70 size spool enables me to get plenty of distance on my cast, but it also enables me to re-spool my reels as needed without going through 150 plus yards of line every time. So I love the 70 size spools. They don't have as much line capacity, but they cast really well. And I know that the MGL technology that's built into this reel will perform just as well as my Corrado 70s. And I absolutely love those reels for everything from square bill fishing, chatterbaits, swim jigs, Texas rigs. I mean, the list goes on and on. I'll use those bad boys for anything. I love my 70s. But like I said, SLX MGL 70 features Shimano's MGL spool, that's Magnum Light, reduces spool inertia, improved casting distance and accuracy. It says it can handle heavy duty applications like pitching and flipping, reinforced brass gearing, buttery smooth, and it features the SVS Infinity braking system. Awesome. So there's just a little bit of info about the SLX 70. The SLX reels have been super popular. A lot of people really like these. I think they're like a perfect entry level bait caster. This reel right here comes in at 150 bucks. Tough to beat that for all of the features that you're getting, all of the Shimano technology that's packed into this reel. Magnum light spool, SVS Infinity. I mean, you can really do it all with this reel. Like I said, heavy applications or moving baits, 7.2 to one gear ratio on this one. I, you know, fish a seven to one for most techniques. I just remind myself to slow down if I'm fishing like a chatterbait or a crankbait, and I always seem to do fine. I feel like it's easier to slow down than it is to like speed up and stay burning all the time. So seven to one is like the butter zone for me. That's where I prefer to sit. I have a lot of six to ones and I've branched out and started using more six to one reels for those techniques that I just mentioned. Uh, maybe when I, you know, just don't wanna have to remind myself to slow down, I'll pick up a six to one and throw a chatterbait or a square bill or a crankbait on those, but I do just fine with the seven to ones. If you guys watched my recent video, I was fishing a flat finesse F4 and I was throwing that on the Corrado 70 MGL and that was a seven to one gear ratio reel. So no problem throwing the moving baits with a seven to one. I just have to, you know, sort of remind myself that, hey, don't be turning and burning too fast. That being said, nothing wrong with turning and burning. A lot of times uh, burning a crankbait or a reaction bait will actually trigger those bites as well. So you just gotta figure out what the fish are wanting and I never have too much of an issue throwing the moving baits on a seven to one. So that's why we went with the HG. I'm just gonna get one more look at this bad boy once again. Thank you, shout outs to Jeremy for gifting this reel to the channel. He's a member of the Almighty Heater Army. If you guys wanna learn more about that, you can click that top link down below in the video description and become a Heater Army member yourself. But man, I am stoked on the new Shimano SLX 70 MGL. Now, we need to get this bad boy paired up with the rod, get us spooled up with some line, figure out what bait we're gonna throw on this. Love the blue accents on there, but let's get it mounted up, get it spooled up, and figure out what we're gonna get tied onto this bad boy. First up, we need to pick a rod. <sighs> Couple options here. I, got, I had a couple laying over in the corner that I'm not currently using. Let's go through these and figure out what we want to mount this SLX on. Oh, oh, there's a couple different choices here. Oh, we've got some Team Six rods. This is the 7.3 medium. Oh, this is going to get bad quick if I'm not careful. I'm just going to set them back here. Like that. Oh my gosh, everything is going wrong. Why is this happening? All right, Team Six, what do we got right here? This is a Lux Series, 7.5, extra heavy, fast. And if we were pitching and flipping, that might be a good option, but I think I'm gonna set that one off to the side. Ooh, what's this one? 7.3 Heavy Sensory Series. That's tempting right there. Tempted, I love the Sensory Series from Six Sense. This was like my favorite for the longest time until we came out with the Heater Series. Obviously, I'm a little biased on the Heater Series. The Heater Series, if you guys didn't know, that's my signature line of fishing rods that we did with Six Sense, but the Sensory Series, Oh man, that's money. I love the sensory rods. That one right there, I feel like is a finalist. Tempted to throw that 70 on there, but let's keep going through these rods and see what else we got. Ooh, speaking of pitching and flipping and frogging, this right here, the Vega 610 Heavy. Also tempted to throw it on here. I really like this shorter Vega rod, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing pitching and flipping with this, at least not to start. <sighs> tempted, but I'm gonna have to set that one off to the side as well. 
Let's keep rolling. What else do we have here in the pile? Check this one out. This is actually one of my favorites. This is the 7.7 Heavy ESP series. Also really tempted to throw it on here. The ESP series, super sensitive. A lot of people really like these rods too. And that 7.7 Heavy with that moderate fast action. Hmm, that's a good one. Here is the prototype heater series rod. It's upside down, but you guys get the idea. This is what this was the original design. This is what it was gonna look like before we did a little changing and uh, updated the, the looks. But this is the, the actual heater series components, and that's actually a 7.5 heavy. So I'm afraid that that's probably not gonna work for what I've got going on. I don't think I wanna throw it on such a heavy rod, so uh, at least not a 7.5. If I do, it's gonna be something a little shorter. So that's gonna have to go on the back burner for now. Check this one out. That's the Unicorn. 7.4 heavy, another really nice six cents rod, but I'm gonna set that one off to the side as well. And it's gonna be in between these two, the Sensory 7.3 heavy or the 7.9 medium. I'm gonna have to think about it for a second. While I do that, I just noticed something. I noticed that there was a note and a sticker. These must have fell out of the box I didn't even notice. Power moves. And there's a note from Jeremy as well. Awesome. You know, I will take the time. Man, I like your handwriting, dude. I will take the time to read this off camera. I save every piece of personal mail or letter that anyone has ever sent me. I have a box with a bunch of stuff that people have sent over the years. I'll hang on to this for forever. Thank you for taking the time to write me this note, dude. I'm glad I saw that. I don't, I don't know how I missed that. It was just laying over here. All good. I found it. We're good to go. I just gotta figure out what rod I want to pair this reel up with. Now, I do have one more option set off to the side over here. This is my last heater series that doesn't currently have a reel on it. It's a 7.5 medium. I feel like it would be dialed. I know it's dialed, the rod at least, is dialed for like lipless, and I don't currently have a lipless setup ready to rock. It's actually finally starting to kind of get off into lipless season. The weather's crazy in Texas. It's been half winter, half spring, half fall, half summer and it doesn't know what it wants to do, but I don't currently have a lipless setup ready to rock, so that's also tempting. I'm sort of torn on what rod to pair this reel up with. I'm gonna have to think about it for a minute. All right, I've made my decision, and the rod that I'm gonna pair the new SLX70 MGL with is the Heater Series 7.5 Medium. I'm gonna go ahead and get a lipless rigged up. Like I said, I don't currently have a lipless setup. Another technique that I really love using the 7.5 Medium for is throwing the little Chatterbait Mini Max. You guys know I love throwing the Mini Max. And I recently removed the reel off of this to set up something else. And I think it's time to go ahead and replace that. And we're gonna use this SLX 70 MGL to do it. So let's get this bad boy mounted up. What do you say? SLX reels always look so good on the heater series because of the blue. Matches the blue on the handle. Look at that bad boy right there. That's a pretty slick looking setup. As I often say here on the channel when we're doing these unboxings and rigging videos, I like stuff that looks cool. And this looks pretty freaking cool on that heater series. Awesome, that's the new new right there, man. The SLX 70 MGL. Let's get it spooled up. I think I'm gonna go 15 pound fluorocarbon. All right, now that we have our rod picked out, it's time to get this sucker spooled up. I'm gonna go with 15 pound in Vizex fluorocarbon for this one. I feel like 15 is like the sweet spot. I can get away with a lot on it. It's not quite as light and volatile as 12, but it's not as heavy and it's not gonna affect my depth as much as 17. So 15 is what I like to go with when I'm gonna be using a rod for multiple techniques. I'm gonna be throwing the Chatterbait Mini Max lipless and I'll probably be doing some cranking with this setup as well. This will be dialed for baits like the C6 little mid diver or even a C10 and I feel like 15 pound fluorocarbon is going to be perfect for this so that's what I'm going to go with just a little bit of added durability without sacrificing too much in the way of depth so I'm going to get this ran through every line guide on this heater series 75 medium moderate rod and get it tied to the arbor of the reel the spool is called an arbor Fun fact there for you guys. And I'm gonna use an arbor knot to do it. Good to go. Now, a couple things. You wanna tighten your drag back down. Normally the drag comes pretty loose and you wanna keep a good amount of tension on the spool, both spools, as you're spooling this thing up. And that's gonna help you get an even distribution across your arbor and everything's gonna go smooth. You're gonna have everything dialed and ready to go. There's a balance here. You gotta make sure that the spool's not in. Spool are too tight. That right there is perfect. Not loose so it doesn't slip at all. And a little bend in the rod tip there. 
15 pound fluorocarbon going on the new 70 MGL. It's not gonna take long to fill this spool up either. It's working! She's full. That is one of my favorite things about the SLX 70 is that it doesn't take too much line to get that sucker at capacity. And now that that's out of the way, it's time to get us a bait tied on. Now, like I said, I'm gonna go with the lipless here to start out on this setup. There are a couple other baits I wanna talk about that I feel like this is gonna be money for. Like these three baits that I'm about to show you are the baits that come to mind for this specific setup. And I feel like it's gonna like cover these bases for me. So Chatterbait Mini Max. I've really liked throwing the Mini Max on the 7.5 medium moderate. Caught a lot of fish on this rod using this bait. So I know that it does great. This right here is one of the new colors that I picked up. It's called Gizzard Shad. That's a little half ounce Mini Max. It's gonna be perfect for the setup that we just rigged up. Also, the C6, the Cloud9 series. This is a medium diving crankbait. That is the Blue Truce Shad. We'll take a up close and personal look at this bad boy so you guys can see this beautiful color. I love that blue and chartreuse. This bait is perfect for when you need to get down there just a little bit deeper than what the square bills will. And it's not too big, smaller, finesse profile. And I've caught some really big fish on the Cloud9 C6, even in this color right here. This is a confidence bait. I love the C6 and I feel like this setup that we just rigged up is gonna be money for throwing this bait as well. So there's a couple. Let's get on to the lipless. So this is bait number three, and this is actually the bait that I'm gonna tie on. And this is my lipless box. I figured this would be a good chance to show you guys inside the lipless box. Show you what I got going on inside of here. You guys may have seen it before, but here's a little peek inside the lipless crankbaits that I carry with me on the boat. For this one, I'm sort of torn between the Quake 70 or the Snatch 70X. A lot of really incredible colors like that one right there. Look at that. These are a couple of my favorites right here. These are some really incredible bluegill pattern Quake 70s. Also, tough to beat that bone. That's tempting right there. You could also go with this one right here. This is the newest lipless offering from Sixth Sense Fishing. This is the Duke. And I don't have much experience with this bait. Pretty loud, high pitch rattles there, smaller profile. The Duke, the old Dukeroo. Of course, I have plenty of Bill Louis on deck. That chrome blue back, that's a classic staple. But like I said, I think I'm torn between the Snatch and the Quake. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I really like that color right there. That's a heater. That's a super heater. That Snatch, super high pitch rattles on that Snatch 70. That one right there. That one right there might be the one really natural yep i think that's gonna be the one right there guys boom let's get it tied on san diego jam time cool little scooter me here show you guys what's going down so i like to keep my finger through the loop so it's easy to grab the tag end and then i do eight wraps one two three four five six seven eight like i said grab that tag line might be a little tough for you guys to see that makes it really easy keeping your finger through there and back through the top and then before you even start putting any pressure anywhere on that fluorocarbon you want to wet that line really well cinch it down tight good to go one last tug on the tag end boom textbook san diego jam ready to fish that bad boy ain't going anywhere and now our new setup shimano slx 70 mgl on the 7.5 medium moderate heater series with the Snatch 70 is ready for the water. There it is, boys. There it is. What do you guys think? And girls, boys and girls. I know there are some lady anglers that like to watch the channel as well. Shout outs to all of you. But that right there is a pretty slick looking setup. Really nice ghost shad colored Snatch 70. Loud rattles, lipless crankbait. This setup right here gonna be perfect for the Mini Max, perfect for the lipless and for that C6 as well. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Make sure you stick around, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see me put this thing to work. I will be fishing with this. We will be out there on the water with this combo, putting it to the test right here on camera before long. Like I said, lipless season, just now sort of kicking into gear around here, so we'll have plenty of time to test that thing out, see how we like it, compare it to the other reels in the lineup, but I'm really happy with the way the setup looks so far and I cannot wait to start using it. Thank you so much to Jeremy for sending that reel into the channel so that we could make this video for you guys, get it spooled up, and have another piece of awesome gear to use out there on the water. And if you wanna see that, 
like I said, make sure you guys click that subscribe button. 52,000 subscribers we just hit recently, man. So thank you guys so much for that. We need to color in another couple lines on the subscriber board here. We are over halfway to 100K, but I can't do it without you guys. So make sure you stick around, help us fill in all those bars on that subscriber board. As always, if you guys are interested in checking out the heater series rods, which will be restocked in the not so distant future. I just got word that new rods are on their way. They will be here eventually. I don't have a hard date for you guys yet, but for everybody that's been asking about the heater series and when they're gonna be back in stock, if you guys were waiting for a specific model to be available, that's gonna happen sooner than later. So stay ready. I'll make sure I blast that out across the airwaves and keep you guys informed on that. But until then, you can check out sixcentsfishing.com to check out what heater series rods they do have in stock. In fact, I think the 7.5 medium moderate is available right now. So if you want to get yourself dialed in on a new lipless setup, check out that 7.5 medium moderate heater series and use my code JR10 at checkout to save 10% off the rods, the baits, and everything on the website. It also supports the channel at the same time, saves you money, and helps us continue to bring you free fishing content here on YouTube. As always, anyone who uses that JR10 code gets a shout out on my Instagram. So make sure you take a screenshot of your order confirmation and DM it to me at the Justin Royal, and I will post it up, tag your account. It's just a way for me to say thank you, give you guys some public recognition for helping us keep this whole thing running. Speaking of keeping this thing running, as always, we could not do this without the Almighty Heater Army. If you want access to special perks like badges and emojis that you can use here on the channel, priority response to comments, access to the Heaters only live stream that is available exclusively for heater army members check out that top link down below in the video description and learn how to become a heater army member yourself we could not do it without the jr10 army without the heater army so if you guys enjoy the channel and you like what we do over here and you want to support check out sixcentsfishing.com punch in that jr10 for the win secure the heater save the bread or check out that link down below in the description to find out how you can become a heater army member but regardless, I appreciate every single one of you who takes time out of your day to watch these videos. But that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, but I'll see you in the next one.